before we start, uh, a little bit of admin. Basically, this is footage that I've, I've kind of edited together. It was filmed in 2016 um, for a taster for a, an idea I'd had that was, yeah, I don't know, one of these. I found all these files. Apparently, I did a brochure. I don't think I actually wrote much of the story because I focused more on the logo because, um, I mean, that, that took ages and probably wasn't worth it in the end. Yes, I do want to open 34 items. There were loads of episodes about different ways the world could end, like solar flares, aliens. I was basically knee-deep in Shutterstock for quite a long time. Okay, so the reason I'm saying this is because the first the, the video you're about to, if you are going to watch it, based, you probably stopped by now, but the thing we shot was about a viral pandemic and I didn't want you to watch it thinking that I'd like filmed it yesterday because that would just be a really strange thing to do. Anyway, I just wanted people to see it because I have all this footage on my hard drive for ages. I've edited it together. This bit's gone on for way too long, but it's strange to watch and I want to put it out there. So that's the preamble. And if you haven't stopped watching, here is the thing I've made that I've uploaded to YouTube. This is the end. Yeah, I don't want to die. I mean, I know none of us want to die, but I, re I mean, I really do. I can't die. I have too many things to do. I have to read all the books that I've said that I've read. When people tell me that I worry too much, I'm always like, no, 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 you worry far too little because there are so many things to be worried about. Climate change, solar flares, a viral pandemic, asteroids, meteors, nuclear war, zombies, aliens, artificial intelligence, dark matter. I don't even know what that means. If the apocalypse isn't going to happen, then I don't need to worry. And if it is going to happen, I can prepare. That is what I'm talking about. Lipstick. Oh my god! That is a pandemic waiting to happen. I'm gonna investigate this. I am James Veach. I'm petrified and I'm making a TV show. I'm never coming here again. I'm literally. It's all very well just being afraid, but we need facts. And that is why I've come here to the University of South Carolina. During that whole bit, there was just direct sunlight in my eyes. I don't wanna be like a backseat driver, man, but I just don't. Is, this, is that profesh? Yeah, better safe than sorry. Let's get out. this bad boy into the lab. Yeah. You know what I mean? I... And, and, and... <laughs> not, I'm okay. It's nothing. It's nothing. Sorry, yeah. sorry. What do you think the chances are of a much worse flu being able to take out the world? I suppose before we have time. The chances are minute. Really? Yes. But I have some articles here. Ebola mm -hmm. scare in city killed by by swine flu mm -hmm. or swine flu spreads. You know what I mean? Those are and, and and it is the Sun and the Daily News and it sort of says it all, doesn't well, it? I, well, I've got one from the New York New York Times. It says deadly viral pandemic imminent. This is 100% legitimately the end. Uh huh. I mean, I I'll be honest with you, I made that one. A friend of mine has a friend no, who works at the Center of Disease Control. CDC, yeah. The CDC. I was saying, I was speaking to the virologist, I think we're going to be okay. And she said, well, I have a friend who works at the CDC, and she says all she does all day is, and I quote, test salmonella on bean sprouts. What do you think about that? That's a direct quotation. Uh, how is that helping? I don't know how this helps. First of all, we're talking about salmonella, which is not a virus. Uh, so you're switching now to bacteria. Obvs, I wanted a second opinion, so I set up in search of another virologist. Virologist? Another doctor. Unfortunately, it was it was quite a big building and I got lost for about 45 minutes. What is the point of having a hospital? What is the point of having all these rooms if literally no one is... Oh. But eventually, I found Dr. Paula Cannon and I explained to her what I was worried about. A random mutation can happen somewhere in the world and suddenly that, that is something that our retroviral drugs don't work on. And it's, let's say it's air, but it spreads very, very quickly. Right, so like a doomsday virus. What, what would it take to be like a world wiping out virus? We're, we're, it's a numbers game, isn't it? It's like every so often, a nine comes up on the roulette table. Let's focus on the good news. Soap and water works really well. And the other thing that works really well is keeping your hands away from your face. Okay? Wash your hands, don't touch your face. How long would it take, like, a brand new virus? Yeah. This is the pure virus, right? How quickly could you find a vaccine for So, normally this takes many years because, you know, science moves fairly quickly, but there's a lot of regulation you've got to go through and you've got to test it. But when people are dying, you... When people are dying, I think, yeah. We should probably destroy this. So Dr. Cass thinks that the next kind of pandemic is, is going to be flu-based. Now, the last flu pandemic we had was the Spanish flu in 1918, and that killed 100 million people. It wasn't as many people on Earth, so that was just like a significant percentage of the population. You've got to imagine that now it will be a much larger population, particularly since air travel. We didn't have much air travel in 1918, loads of air travel. Now, we are, we are screwed, and we're also much more touchy-feely now. So It was clear the doctors knew what they were talking about, but... I wanted to hedge my bets, so I found a guy who could give me some tips on how to survive if the worst should happen. Basically, the man has skills. I don't have skills. I can't even make an omelette. Viruses wipe out the entire, the entire world, then I'm gonna need to know how to, 
how to survive in the world. There he is. Hey, mate. Let's go look at some of the plants around here for food, medicine, etc. Hells yeah. Let's do it. Is that what they say in Great Britain? No, Hells yeah. but I don't know why I said that, actually. Yeah, That's, okay. I literally never said that before. But let's, okay. um, let's go. I'm excited. I look high. I look low. I'm looking everywhere I go. Looking for a home in the heart of the country. something from your land that's invaded our land. Uh, culture. No, this would be a crude form of aspirin. Be careful for the poison oak there. Thanks, mate. You grind that into a flour, make a pancake. Nobody eats it raw. It might even, what is it? Somebody eat? does. Uh, I sometimes put plastic bags on the trees and the water evaporating out of the leaves is caught in the plastic bag. That's clever. But it, it would be even easier if you're in a dry stream bed to dig down. If you're at home, yeah. you should just run the tap. Water is the most important thing that you need to have in your home. Well, Netflix, I mean... Netflix is irrelevant. I want a horse, I want a sheep, I want to give me a good night's sleep. Hold on one second. These are prescription glasses. Okay, we could probably make a fire. The problem is, I would, be, I would not be able to see that I think fire. You give it to your... Who carries Tinder in their pockets? That's what I want to know. Everybody does. It's, different. it's a very different form of Tinder. Hold this. When all the matches ran out, I am vital. I am vital in the apocalypse. Don't lose those glasses. I'm not going There you go. Oh, my God! So everyone seems to be in agreement that soap and water was basically a good idea. But what happens when all the soap runs out? So uh, in light of this, I got Chris to show me how to make my own soap using just water and a plant called yucca. I say I got him to show me it was his idea and I hadn't heard of a yucca. So the yucca is actually primarily used as twine, but I'm going to show you how also to make it into a soap. Put some water in here. Where have you managed to get this pure water from? Take your leaf, bend it in half, yeah. and start pulling it apart like so. No, pull it apart from the middle, you'll get longer strands. Yeah. Ah, oh, it comes quite a lot. It's, it's, like, it's, it's like string cheese. It's like string cheese, except it's not edible. It's, Don't eat this. It's like a lot of little cords, and you could- well, To be honest, is string cheese edible? So what are you, hang on, you're rubbing yours. Uh, no, I'm just pulling it apart okay. oh, still. You're, just you're, keep pulling it apart. Uh, yours, I'm putting mine into the thing, is that? You could, it's okay. Okay, all right. So you, know, you have your own ways. My way my ways in my village. Right. Stop bringing me back there, it's too much. Sorry. Right. Is this a past life you're recalling? Well, no, it's, it's, it's pre-apocalypse. Pre you know oh, I, I mean? see. It's, you're seeing it. You're, it's right. Every night. That's why I need to wear yeah. my passion hat. Well, no, the passion hat will help you sleep so you don't have to so, worry about it so yeah, much. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. There's plenty of worrying to do when it actually happens. Yeah. You don't need to worry now. But you feel pretty prepared, I, I would say. You worry less, you said, because you, well, you feel... I like to sleep. Yeah. Not if you're worrying, you're not doing, okay? Living is easy with eyes closed, misunderstanding all you see. Well, you really are a Beatles fan, huh? I am. Please accept my condolences. What? Is that you, are you a Stones fan? Mate, come on. I, you didn't tell me he was a Stones fan. <laughs> Mind you, all the Stones are gone now. Okay, quit. Uh, They're dead. That's literally what it took uh, to stop them touring. Okay, this is what you want. Here, you could take some of mine. You're Thanks, taking mate. a long time to do Sorry, it. sorry. Thanks, mate. Take a bunch of this. Yeah, thank you. Take a little bit of the fiber. Yeah. Wet it. Yeah. Make some soap. <gasps> That's incredible. It's incredible. Look at this. Look at this. So then you wash all of the, uh, you know, the plague infested bacteria or whatever virus off of your body. You get some lather. Oh, I'm going to yeah, I'm going to lose it. Give it a little bit more water. I have a little bit more soap than you well, do. Well, you're quite, you've been doing this. Oh, I'm a better soap maker, huh? Oh, look, I've got, I'm getting some lather. Yeah. That is incredible. So this is just yucca and water. That's literally all of this. Yucca and water. So that is lather that I've created with my own hands and wow. a bit of help. And that, you're I, quite a guy. You, 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 you take the piss, but this is actually I'm fairly very, impressive. I'm starting I'm to be impressed, yeah. yeah. I mean, come on, mate. <laughs> You could dry your hands on the towels that you brought for yourself. Didn't, I didn't bring them. You're what do you mean? Comment. When, who needs to, I don't need to dry my hands on the towels. I'll dry them on the air that comes for free. There you go. He doesn't free. need a, he doesn't I don't need need a towel. I need white towels. There you go. Okay, I'm going to dump this one. Yeah, get rid of it. You may not like a towel, but I do. I'm not a barbarian. <laughs> don't you carry a, a kerchief to wipe your hands with? If there was a catastrophe in your hometown, in your hometown, do you think uh, you'd be all alone? I mean, there's a lot of people who live there, right? Yeah. So after some people died, you'd have to put things together with whoever was around. I would. I'd reform so society. So you wouldn't be alone. I don't know about that. But. I 
been with Chris for the best part of an afternoon, um, but there was one question that I've been dying to ask him uh, that I hadn't yet. What's in your backpack? What's in my backpack? Cup, wire, fire starter, some light water purifier, flashlight, mylar, an emergency poncho, sewing kit, for trade, just a 50 cent piece, but you never see them. The water key, another Leatherman, notebook, another water key. See, I have another pocket here, duct tape, 50 feet of cord. To be honest, that's just a hostage situation waiting to happen. Why do I carry twine? Because that is one of the holy trinity of things that you need. And why is it the holy trinity of things that you because need? Because that is something that you said and have told me to remember. <laughs> you, can you have, do you have any ideas why I might carry this? Well, if you have a pet, you're gonna need to carry it on a, on a, on a, on a leash. Also, Band-Aids, tape, it's camouflage. Guys, can it's, you see me? You remove snake venom. You can suck it out. I'm okay. bitten! Little knife. You call that a knife? And a saw. Here's a... For, will you stop bringing out knives? When you leave the house, are you like, because I'm like always just wallet keys phone. But you're like, knife, knife, your knife, article of trade, duct tape, your wallet. knife. The woods are full of toilet paper. What's it called? A leaf. Bit minging though. This is an old computer platter. Yeah, it's a hard, hard drive. drive. Yeah. And what do you think this is for? Obviously, when in your pockets, you're going to have sensitive data about the cure. Uh, Signaling mirror. Oh! Yeah, it's always good to keep fresh breath in the um, in the apocalypse. I think like people are. When I mean, we meet fellow traveller, you don't want to have um, bad breath. But you're thinking this is Altoids? Yeah. Okay, so you're jumping to conclusions. This is a mini survival kit. Of course it is. The problem is you have to eat all the mints first, and you don't want to do that in a rush. So just uh, take your time. This is just what I normally carry. I have a shell. Shell. Shall we tell me why? Well, it just happened to be in my pack, but I could eat off of it. Quasi knife for small fish, and you have a little... They do they need knives? So a little knife for fish, because they've got to survive as well. You know what you could do with one of these? But you could use it as a signaling device. Mm. A little harder. Mm. There you go. What do I have in here? You know, I hate to say it, but I think that's, that's all there is. I know it's a small, basic, there's so Tiny. much, it's lacking so much, that's it isn't funny. Okay, so it was, it was clear that I lacked almost all of the things I was gonna need uh, to survive, so it was, it was definitely time to get kitted up. So that's, that's where I drove to, and that's why these montages seem to be driving um, to kind of connect the bits. That was good, that was good. I feel, I mean, I, I have a set, set of skills now. We soaked, we lathered together. What a lovely guy, and also what? I want him to be my dad. No, don't put that on camera, because progress has been made, definitely, definitely. And also, guess who's sleeping well tonight? I am because of the um the hat. How long has the indicator been on? This is the shop I ended up at, but before I went in, the camera crew did a thing where they shot some B-roll, uh, which is a technical term for the, um, the sort of thing that you're seeing now. And I then turned that uh, into, I think, what amounts to an excellent intro. What type of disaster do you want to prepare for? We have stuff for earthquakes, fires, floods, power outages. Okay. Mostly viral infections, virus pandemic sweeping over the world. Let's start with water filters. One of the things you're going to want is a filter that's going to do viruses <gasps> and biological. It literally says viral. This is your filter. And you just pump this. One four liter pouch that holds the dirty water, one that holds the clean water. What if I get them the wrong way around? One says dirty. Oh. How am I going to feed myself, Jeff? It has a five year shelf life. That's five year shelf life water. This has a 12 year shelf life. All you have to do is add water into it. Have you tasted that? Is this what astronauts eat? I'm not sure I trust an Italian style pepper steak that has a shelf life of five years. Oh, this is actually 12 years. These cans here, that's 25 years. 25 years? Do people like bury this? You've got like Some a- Some people bury it. Everybody's gonna be after the scrambled eggs. I have people that'll buy like a year supply of the food. And then do you think they leave it 25 years and then they have to start replacing the, you know, it's kind of like At how they made Stonehenge. Let's say I, I'd run through my supply or mm -hmm. they've been pilfered or I forgot where I'd hidden them. That's actually fairly likely. Like in Breaking Bad where he remembers, I wouldn't remember the numbers. I'd just be like, I've lost all the money. How am I gonna fish, kill, or forage? Have you got any stuff to do that? We do. I thought that would be the answer. Can you do me a favor? Can you just, can you say, uh, That's a knife. That's not a knife. This is in the, is that you in a younger? No, that's Bear Grylls. Any traps for animals, things like I that? I don't have traps no, for animals. That's all right, I'm a vegetarian anyway. Until the apocalypse happens, at which point I might begin to branch out. I think you want to stay away from a big stove. That's not going to be portable. 
Oh, I th okay, I thought you were just saying I'm just not responsible enough. Self-survival in the woods, that's one thing. A lot of our customers are thinking self-survival in a house. People will probably come and invade my house because they'll know that I have the scrambled eggs. Battery packs that work off solar power. You could run lighting off of it. Some people take... Uh, Throw an end of the world party. You probably have yeah. to play the REM song, wouldn't you? If, he, if you know. A major disaster, you may not be able to use the hospital. Mm -hmm. So... But take care of it yourself. Having different types of first aid kits or trauma kits. Do a lot of people p pick the pink hard yes. hat? Yes. Is that a joke? No, no. We, we have people that come in, they're concerned about zombie preparedness. You see what I mean? They'll buy a machete, they'll buy you know, an emergency kit for zombies. Not for zombies, because you don't want to help. How about a hazmat suit? Eye wash, Tylenol, a black stethoscope. That's just cool. Do you have your own personal stash as well? I do. Today? I've been doing this 27 years. I have a lot of supplies. Where's your, where are your supplies? <laughs> do you want to just tell me the... Uh, I know. What do you think? What do you think, Jeff? Like... <clears throat> you could break, pry. I was, thinking, I was going more for protect. People want to take my stuff. They want to. T they want to use my flushable loo. <laughs> no way, Jose. And I don't mean that in a racial way. I mean just that's the, just the expression. No way, buddy. <clears throat> that's actually that's really heavy. That's, I'm going to get the smaller one. This is more my yeah. Look at this cute little guy. <laughs> ah, ah, ow, ah. Do you find that things you sell are based on politics? Usually around election season. Yeah. It gets a little crazier. On the one hand, you're like, I don't want the world to end, so I should probably go with Hillary. But on the other hand, business is good. Jeff, how much is that uh, going to be? What's the damage? $3,221. Oh, can we at least keep the flushable loose? Let's see your pack. I've got a jumper with a bear on it. Now, I think at a pinch, this might scare off another bear. Are you joking? People say, YOLO, you only live once. But what is that? Well, exactly. What can I do to stop to make my chances of optimum chances of survival? Wash your hands. This is a little, this little thing with a, a well, it's mainly a Bluetooth. It's a weapon, right? Okay, but you can also change slides with it, so, you know, it's good. Why would you be concerned about changing? You what if slides? you have to make a presentation? <laughs> oh my God. Virologist, virologist. Virologist, virologist. Let's call the whole thing, sorry. Have everyone's attention, please. We've got a brand new virus. They need everyone to drop what they're doing and start work on this. And in fact, to give you an incentive, ah! who takes care of this? There must be a plan. Can we run a battery of tests on this guy? It would take a lot of resources and money to do that. Okay, I'm taking a swab of the area that this brush will now uh, contain the DNA. I put it into the tube. I will break it off, close the tube. I have placed the cup into the bag, and I will now reseal the bag. I mean, it doesn't sound as cool as his, but you need to get what I mean. Everything we need, we can take from the earth around us. Everything. We don't need societal... You know what I mean? It's... We should okay. probably decide if one of us... If, I, if you die, can I eat you? No. Okay. No, I don't want to be eaten. I don't think I would taste very good anyway. It's all good news now Because we left the taps Running for a hundred years